What's going on guys? Right, of course, we are back at it again in the Vinci Resolve Studio and today we're going to make a simple free VHS title with no plugins required. So come to your effects uh, and fusion composition and drag that to your timeline. Once you've done that, you want to jump straight into the fusion page. Now we're here, we can add a background and simply connect the background to the media out like so. Um, and click on text. Text should automatically merge. If it doesn't merge, hold shift and drag it on top of the line. Now that we're here, let's create our text. VHS seems like the right thing to use for this tutorial. I'm gonna use my favorite font, the font that I always use, VHS, um, sorry, Eurostyle Extended. Let's just bring the tracking close together. I'm also gonna come make this red and make it a deep red. Now press Control Space and type in Gaussian Blur. You're going to get a nice blurred edge, which is exactly what we're looking for, for that VHS blurred faded sort of style. I'm just going to bring this slightly down and for finer detail, always click on the numbers and adjust the numbers this way. And that way it goes up by decimal point rather than adjusting this, which just swings back and forth and is a lot harder to control. So let's just bring this down a little bit like this, somewhere around 290. Now after we've done that, I'm going to add scan lines. I'm going to bring the line frequency up. Now this is already looking really good, but let's add some more details. Let's go to transform. We want to add some gate weave in old VHS videos and stuff like this. Everything used to jitter up and down because of the way the film was printed or the digital film was printed. So we're going to come to our Y and uh, as you can see, our Y axis is the up and the down, but we're going to right click on the Y, modify width, and we're going to come to perturb. Now straight away, this looks a bit crazy. This is not what we're looking for. We want to come to modifiers and bring the X scale down and the Y ever so slightly down to about 0.02. Now once you're here, we can also just come back to our background and remove the alpha so we can get rid of that background. Um, and we come back to our transform, come to our modifiers and bring the strength down relatively small, something like 0.02. 13. It's really subtle and um, you might not be able to see it on my screen but you'll definitely be able to see it on yours. Um, everything's about the details and the small details and the subtlety of the effect to really bring it to life. So as you can see now we've got this nice jittering VHS thing going on here. Now that we're here we can come back to our edit page and let's just full screen. Now this looks nice, but there's a lot of final touches we can add. Um, one of them being grain. So what I suggest is you come to your adjustment clip, add on an adjustment clip and type film grain in, which is found in open FX. Once you've done the film grain, you can bring the opacity up. Um, come to 35 mil 400 T and bring the strength up and change this to hard light. Now this is gonna look very dramatic at the moment and very over the top, but here is where we can finesse this, which is in advanced controls, and you just bring down the shadows. And then you can start to play around with the midtones and the highlights. I use this a lot, the advanced controls, to really dial in the effect. It's uh, really important in getting good realistic grain, um, and I suggest you use it too. Another thing we can add is the glow. Let's type in open FX, glow, Let's bring the shine threshold to about here and then the spread in. Now we've got something kind of nice. Let's full screen this. Now that you've got this point, there is um, an extra step we can take. If you've purchased the damaged VHS plugin from Bluetooth.com, um, if you haven't, go ahead and check that out. But let's go and see what we can do with that. Uh, if we add the adjustment clip on top, um, I'm going to go into damage VHS and drag that on top just like so and that looks incredible um, that looks really cool but there's a few things we can do which I like to bring to life even more I bring the brightness down we can add something under and that looks really cool the plugin just ties everything together. Um, and alternatively, the plugin, you won't need to do the steps prior to this. Um, but yeah, if you add this plugin, it will just sort of bring everything um, more realistic and closer to that VHS fill. Now 
And that's pretty much it guys, so thank you very much and I'll speak to you on the next one. Peace.